field Hammond. Just on the road now. We're well, just about to pull into Skinkness Station. And this is the start of the silly goose skink vlogs. You might hear my friends chuntering the background. But we're about to do some cool shit in the Skinkness. And maybe we'll find some colourful characters along the way. Right. Welcome to this silly mini series. Da -da -da -da. Well, it might just be a single video. I don't know yet. Yeah. It's day one. Yay! Yay! Every time you sleep, you need to Anyway, I think we're about to come to stop. So, I'm going to get bags and stuff ready. Pretty cool looking nice boat. 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 It's the Jonkler machine. I said the Wonder Woman pop. It's the Jonkler machine. I'm going to get the Jonkler somehow. I'm trying to record and do this thing at the same time. Uh, this isn't helpful because I can't really see the freaking thing properly. I've been playing this for a hot minute. I would have got Batman. I've got. Uh, I think it was Supermunge. But I haven't got the super villains yet. Or the John or the Jonkler by himself. There's the Jonkler. There he is. There's the Jonkler. So I'm going to try for the Jonkler. Just a bit of fun. It's like a 2P machine with extra steps. Like a lot of extra steps apparently. This thing's supposed to give you tickets as well, but it isn't for this one. Oh, a new card! It's a different version of Superman. It's like the Earth 5169 Superman. Alright, I'll get some more plays in a second and carry on. I might have spent like a five in this game, but I don't know how else to get these cards actually. Maybe they're online, but I can't be asked anyway. We are getting. We, we might not get the Jonkler, but we might get the Jonkler in the group Jonkler. I think we can get group Jonkler. Team, team Jonkler. Don't do, do it, Batman. Don't do it, Batman. I don't want to be a marketable trading card. That doesn't sound like a joker, that sounds like that weeb guy. Never mind. Yes! The Jonkler has been acquired! Not quite the Jonkler. Maybe we can get the Cyborg. I remember having two of these from a place in Birmingham, but I, I think the Hollywood Bowl or whatever it was. Uh, it's Star City. But I can't remember which ones I've got. I think I have the Penguin, maybe? Bonus! Thank you for 100 bonus. This is just gambling, isn't it, really? Oh shit. Oh, we got Cyborg at least. I'm gonna assume I'm not gonna get anything else today, but... Who knows, maybe another card will show up and just sweep the board. It's a full compilation of me pressing a button for five minutes. I was also playing the um, Need for Speed Carbon game earlier. They couldn't record it because holding a wheel, that basically the wheel rattles when you're not holding it, which is terrifying. We had a 20 plays left on the, the Jonkler machine. Ah, the cheater, apparently, is that card. I like how the good guys are in like uh, yellow and the bad guys are in red, just so just in case you couldn't remember the difference. Maybe I should let the card like do its thing. Push that card out. There we are. Yeah, I think the Jonkler is very much stuck. I think he's jonked his last. And the last one for good luck. There we are. No jonkler today, but we got we got oh we got three, so we got uh we got bad CGI man. We got the villain bonus, which I guess is like the really hard one to get. The villain bonus spin. There's the Jonkler. 
and of course Cyborg. Cool. Is that like the Teen Titans Cyborg? It is. Ah, bless him. All right. Back to the mall. Back to the studio. I say studio. Back, whatever's next. Coming out of the Sea Life Centre, and just decided to go to Nature Land. There is, there is a big. There's a little little guy. A little, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little siege. Several of them actually. Big. All the little little babos under the water and above the water. Just having a bit of a swim, you know. Just having a bit of a, a bit of a thrash. Look at them. We'll get a better look in a minute. Some Miri lads. I remember watching, I think it was Meerkat Manor on like Discovery uh, Channel like years ago. This is apparently. Oh! For 11 quid, that's Oh, it is also Meerkat Manor, sort of. Pat, Pat, I love Pat. Oh, these are the donors, these are the names of Meerkats. They've literally just been fed as well. Oh, look at those little guys. I'm getting a lot of like reflection glare, but you can I can see, look at them. Not bad boys. Yeah. Aww. Not I guess contrary to popular belief they don't often do that like standing up thing a lot. Oh they were doing it earlier. Oh weren't they? Look at them little lads. Reptile hills and there's some terrapins, some some turtley boys. Terrapins, turtles, tortoises. Uh, sliders, not for the with burger sliders, it was slide I guess, slidey boys, doing a, doing a move, it's like me when I get up in the morning, mm. I'll be off, yeah. don't want to move too much, bless him, these little guys, chameleon, spot the chameleon, I mean, it's quite easy, I he's not even trying, he's not going, you know, I'm trying to camouflage, so are you? It's like, wait, look at me, I am blue. Dabba dee, dabba dee. Blue boy. Oh, so cool. Pablo the blue boy. Oh, you the photo below to help, yeah, yeah. Blue. Aww. Oh, that's a cool little really cute scale. Yeah, cool. Gecko. There's a crested gecko in there. Kind of looks like a leaf. He's actually a gecko. Yeah. Disguised. See, he's more disguised than the chameleon. I vibe with this. Yeah, I vibe with this guy. This is just chilling. It's like, mmm, happy dog. This one's showing off. This one's like, this one's worried about his friend. This one's just like vibing. This one's just like, you know, oh, it's a nice warm day and we'll stand in the water. But this one is like, yeah, I can swim upside down, you stupid feckers. I can do a swim upside down, not me. This is what the Seal Life Seal Sanctuary is all about. I keep calling it Seal Life Centre because I'm used to like the actual Seal Life Centre. No, it's Nature Land Seal Sanctuary. I always thought it was a Seal Life Centre. I think it might have been years ago yeah, associated the, the one, with them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, is at least, I like how most of them are here. Like, oh, human, human doing the thing, and this one's just like, no, oh, okay. I'm good. So like, nah, nah. So, whoa, 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 what's man doing? What, what's, what's woman doing the thing? He's showing off with his back, big legs. Beware, see what's biting, they do. You know, guys. Like, no. Amazing. Yeah, as they as they get older, they lose their fur. So they're fluffy. As they get older, that this one's 199 as well. 199 Oh, this one's also showing off now. Big. So they're literally starting to fall fluffy. That that ball gets in there. Smooth. Smooth boy. Fluffums. Yeah, no, no, I do not want the attention. I am, I am not a superstar. Look at, like trying to like, like, oh yeah, I can do that too. Look, 
No, I'm not. Sure, you're not special. <laughs> the other two is that I don't care. Yeah. I'm watched by the humans. Oh, the bigger seals. You can occasionally see them doing a pass. Or they're up there. Oh, anyway, going under. I think they. I think they must enjoy the attention. I, mean, I guess they're social animals, aren't they? It doesn't really matter what they're social with. If they perceive that something's friendly to them, like a human, they're like, yeah, friend. <laughs> Synchronized ceiling. Really camouflaged little guys. The apex predator of the ocean, probably. The seal. They're like they're, they're, they're like egg, probably. Oh, this guy's separated from the others. Oh, I guess this guy's underwater. Ah, I think. I think. Well, maybe they can't, it does go quite... No, I don't think it can, actually. I think it's all the way down. Maybe one separate for... Yeah. That would make sense. Grill seal. Boy seal. Uh, friend. They're just sealing. Just seals doing a seal. Yeah, yeah. Just this is all for lunch. Clunch, if you will. See the boys. Seal the deal. See, there's also some penguins here sometimes. I think there, you can just about see one of these little house. Well, their little house. And just about see the penguin in there. Just about. Little guys. Oh yeah, that's yeah, just in there. Yeah, you can see one through the door. Ping. Ping, ping, goo. Noot, noot. Hopefully they'll be out in a second. Oh. Little guys to enjoy this sun. I guess maybe they don't like the sun too much. Maybe they don't. Maybe it's too warm. Staying in the cool. Hospital where they treat the poignant seals, bless their hearts. They have a bit of a rest. Poor guys. Um, so young here. They were rescues. And they're going to treatment and quarantine and stuff, I think. Bless their little hearts. Rescues out here, just chilly. Little guys. Little egg. Little big. This is like weeks. They were a few weeks old when they were brought in. So I think they're about a month, over yeah, a few we'll months old. The yeah. Oh, little eggs, little guys, little friends. Oh. Oh, little bunnies. Oh, in their bed. Sleepy bunnies. The cake tin. Cocoa chocolate cake, rocky rock cake of forest platform. Oh, the name of the cakes, that's adorable. Oh, cakes? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Cocoa chocolate oh, cake oh, platform. Aww. Oh. I don't know what the other rabbit is. There's two, one must be in the bed somewhere. Oh. The cake tin. Oh, oh that is the sweetest thing. Oh, they even have the, um, the ont is it the ontological name? The Orictolagus. Cunicolus Domesticus, That's Netherland Dwarf, no. uh, and then Caveat Porcellus, oh. Guinea Pig. Oh, this name's Oreo. That's adorable. My name is Oreo. My name is Oreo. My name is Oreo. Yeah, a Guinea Pig's nocturnal. Yes. Yeah, I thought so. G guinea boys. Guinea. So, Hobnob, Biscoff, or of course the, the biscuit tin. Fig, Tiffin and Brandy Snap, lovely. 
And the goats. But oh man, I can't wait for Goat Simulator Skeknet Edition. Oh shit, that, that was joking. <laughs> Don't attack me, please. This, this, this one's like very ambitious. He's like going over the wall almost. No, no, just look the phone. Chickens! There's also chickens as well. The first bird we've seen so far. I think it's in like in this thing. Chickens. Chocken. This was a random pigeon for some reason. I <laughs> got this little bitch. That was bitch. Lovely. Spotted his bird. Bird! The best part is a jackass penguin. <laughs> that's, jackass that's the actual penguin. name. Look, oh look, no! Look at the sign. <laughs> jackass penguin! I love them. Oh, cool. I love they're called like Sphesicus Demersus. <laughs> they're just round boys. Round. They're not really that round, but they're round boys. Bob. Honk! Hello, I'm Goose. Love you, some really goose penguin. You also business goose, or formal goose, I think is the term, isn't it in Chinese? So I'm like, oh yeah, so these are formal geese, aka okay, hey, penguins. The, the penguin. My Arctic neighbours, the penguin. Less aggressive, more eat fish. Yes. Less steel rank, more collect pebble. Penguin. And here we see the penguin in the natural habitat, ready to steal everyone's left sock. These guys are very, very bird coded. Preening, yeah, yeah. They don't really, I think they have down rather than feathers, don't they? So, you know, they fluffy boys, and they're not really that fluffy. They've been wet. Preen, preen, preen. Boy now. It's not slightly like angry. Oh. Hello. Oh, oh. Doing a line. Mm. Doing a side line. Mm. I'm in my element, my my fellow avians. Look at this little budgie. Little guy. Little fin shaped. Friendship fin. Oh, I miss having it. I miss boobs. What a cute little friend. I'm going to chirp. Good boob. Alpacas. Hopefully they're going to evolve. They're very curious. They're like, there's a human. No, I never pay attention to the alpacas. They're all about the seals. I notice you, alpaca friends. I notice you. You're being noticed. Just don't... Don't do an evolve and destroy humanity and... You know, turn into some weird celestial weird thing. More friends. Back a field. And there's some, there's some, um, I don't even have to do any editing. There you go, there's some interesting information about alpacas. The plains of South America. So, how can the conservation status things? So, at least concern is like, don't, I guess they're not on the endangered list at all. I guess maybe technically everything's technically on the quote unquote endangered list. It's just depending on whether you're like, Brr, brr, or not so brr. Humming is a common sound. Aww. Braying. So the braying they make in Minecraft is... Uh... Right. An orgly... Wow. Like a fibers you're making hats. Mm -hmm. and blankets and bedding. That's like this... The natives varies, I guess. Suli and... Ha oh. So these are... These are Huakaya, I guess. Well, there's only two different. See, there you go. Unlike birds, so alpacas keep things simple. There's only two types. See? Soon as fibre, dribble redlock, and dense crumpled trees. Yeah, so one's like a kind of a sheep, and one's like that weird. Isn't that like one weird, like, f fluffy cow breed? Hmm. Look at you. Lovely guys. Floor palace with all the boobs. I don't really, really care what's my step, but don't step on the boob. So you got finches, diamond doves, spice finch, star finch, ginseng finch, Bengalese. These are sort of rarer finches. Hello. As you can tell by the humidity, these are exotic birds. 
tropical regions. Oh, the little guys. They're so small. I love finches. They're just little bird orbs. Yeah. I mean, they're not fully orbs, but might as well be. They're little feeders. They're not fussy, them birds. Not fussy at all. Tiny boobs. <coughs> They've got a good diet, I think. Unbothered in my lane, vibing. Bird's nest right here. Asia. Oh. Interesting. I love these like Latin names. And that finch thought it was a bee for a second. Butterfly seeing red of September looking at that system during the winter months. Shining most butterflies not fly. Hmm. These butterflies, I think. <laughs> Being absolutely murderated. This is a wider path. Isn't it? I'll take, oh, that butterfly. Jeez, that's a large wingspan. And another curious animal, the butterfly. Got some orange slices laid out for them. Fished. Fished aren't butterflies, but they are fished. Atlas moth. Is this at least a fish from fish breakfast? No. Give them some breakfast, some fish breakfast. Atlas moths. Moth. What moths? They like the lamb. Do you want some lamb? Is some lamb little moth. Ah, this is all the life cycle pupae and stuff. This is where and some of them in I guess it's like um October now, so not gonna have any sort of in pupil stages. Or maybe maybe there's one or two. This is a simulated environment, so quite possibly you might spot. And assumedly some of these plants might be there's like Lovera for some reason. Plants might be relatively exotic because maybe they rely on specific types of plants. I don't know. Or well, everyone will have some exotic plants because humidity, etc. You know, in a humid spot, we might as well try and create an environment for them, perhaps. Um, this is anything upwards. Can't see anything upwards. Yeah. Long form section where you would see me go through screens a lot. A bush. What is through here? I don't actually know what's through here. In progress. Oh, I guess more just plants, maybe. Work in progress. Interesting. Yeah, we can't get it out of here. Some reason. You have to sort of backtrack all the way. Am I supposed to be in this bit? Seems a bit weird, but. Okay. Back through. Maybe say hello to the boobs one more time. I think it's feeding time for the the bigs. Big. <coughs> Come to say goodbye. There's a birch. Then it flappens. And the tweetums. Oh, and the different. Might be a diamond double there, maybe. Just a little guy. Just a little guy. Doing little guy things. Doing this damn.
doing the stands, friend is true, yeah, doing the lookout. Like you know, no one's going in the hall. Yeah, but these don't no. have winters. I couldn't make cat. Doing the guard, and doing the patrol. The uh, the feels around me, friend. Look at this guy, I'm watching you. It's a very large meerkat, yeah, yeah. Good eye, mate. Now, they're not Australian. So these, these guys might just think we're very, very large meerkats. Mm. Now next we're going to move on to our other rod seal and that is Victoria who is just at the back. Now Victoria is 22. Now next we're going to move on to our two cheeky seal and that is I was about to get fed. That's a bit tasty fish. So you are so cute. Oh, so fish. Everybody to the rearing hall. Round here, I spoke to you about the rest of the work we do. Thank you, and also we should be able to do that. It's like oak water dodgems. Doggums, if you will. There are many factors that can cause cancer separating from them. One more might choose all random, and during this extremely vital time, these poor flow models onto our beaches, severely dehydrated from the waste. Eat your flippers, mate. Yeah. So, that's the topic just like this. Eat your flippers, mate. So, they're checking any bodies. So, this is through everything. This is through any cuts of the body. It's like, it's like dogs meets otters, isn't it? Really, it's watery dogs. Yeah. Are you doing your neck, mate? Thank you. 
Maybe Shiny Diggler, although Shiny Diggler isn't really an albino, he doesn't even call it nose. Yeah, Turns out they're not actually nearly as dangerous as you think they are. Also not near as scary as you think that they are in sort of movies. They're just fish. You know? 
These are minnows, I think, maybe? Or like tiny, tiny little boys. Oh, eels. Eels up inside. It was doing the meme. Eels. He's not an electric eel, is he? Eel, Elijah, what a name. I love that. Elijah. The prophet Elijah. Fish. That's a big fish. Oh, that fish doesn't have anything to do with eat bits off them. Clean the fish. Trigger fish, I think. Oh, look, it's Dory. Just keeps being mean, just keeps being mean, keeps being mean, keeps being mean. There's also a clownfish in here somewhere. There was at one point a marine clownfish. Clownfish. Maybe he's hiding in the anemone, anemone, maybe. Hiding from Dory, probably. I, I, I guess it's like they're in the same part of the sea, but is this kind of the tang and the clownfish in the same spot? Oh, Vigo tangs are actually bright yellow and turn blue as they age. Oh. Did not know that. Axolotl, the best thing in Minecraft. Look at them. Little guy. Princess Bubble, of course, the Princess Bubble then from um, Adventure Time. Oh. Happy Fend. Catfish. Catfish. Oh, there he is. There's a catfish. Maybe I should draw a spider catfish for anchor. Spider catfish. Less cat and more fish, or less spider and more fish. Is there a spider fish? Probably. Cave fish. Oh, jeez. Central Texas. America moment. Certified America moment. Damselfish. They don't seem to be particularly. I guess they're vulnerable, but. <laughs> they don't seem to be in any kind of distress. Kappa. These are Desculus trimaculatus. Oh, there's some clownfish. Common clownfish. Or well, male larger for the dominant from the social groups. So these are like. Aww. They're actually really cute. They're actually adorable. And the sea anemones are quite cool too. Fiji blue devil damselfish. They're from Fiji. Are they actually from Fiji? I think so. I don't, I don't know. Under my geography, is that Fiji? In the blue? Is that a Fiji? Probably. I don't know geography. Mudkip. Mudskip. There's a mudkip in here somewhere. Spot the mudkip. Mud, mudkip. I heard you like mudkips. So you can find them at home. In the mudkip. But hiding. Very well hidden mudkip. You got bees? Fish. Here. Tetras. Oh, these are tetras. Long fish. Kind of like very, very invisible looking guys. Sword tail. Perfect fish. Oh, it's the air. What was air? The, the gobies. You can make perfect fish. More fish. Rainbow fish. Tiger bar. Oh, what are you? Rainbow fish. What? These tiny little oh. These are the tiger barbs. That fish from the movie. Fish. Those are angel fish, I think. Yeah, angel fish. Oh, fishies. Yeah, my old Warhammer place. And the new Skaven stuff's coming out, so I'm getting a warpy grinder. So if you want watching on YouTube, don't forget to go to the twitch.tv slash right, eventually I'll paint this we got a unit of scale and some other stuff to paint up as well but we're going to do a whole army at some stage and figure out exactly, now we've got the new codex, what I can do yeah, look at it let's pick a big drill hey yo though, so we're here at Skag at night and the freaking clock tower at this time reminds me of like the flipping keyhole from Travers Town Bruh. 
all those like keyhole looking illuminations. Might have to spin this thing like three times to like, solve this level. Look at that. Pretty. So I'm at the SpongeBob machine now, doing a SpongeBob review. And I'm not doing too well because I can't do both of them at the same time. There we go. The timing's really hard, actually. Even though I've like managed to do twice in a row. But yeah, this is like a whole new world, like coin butcher machine or something. Ah, not quite. Okay. You get the concept. Of course, there's tickets, as you know. It's not quite a Dijonkla machine, but it is funny. So, yeah, the timing on this is awful, because this the coins don't come out necessarily at the same speed. There we go. And sometimes you just get ready to get tickets instead of, you know, an extra token or whatever. Which I kind of don't care about tickets. I really don't care about the tickets, I care about the cards. Oh. Nuts. Okay. Uh, okay, there we go. Hey, we got a card. What? Larry. I don't know if I could ever go without. I'm just thinking about. I don't know if I could ever go without. What a melon sugar high. What a melon sugar high. Local Nisa has these um, bootleg pin. Hero Factory sets. Boot Factory. So you want not quite breeze, not quite. Sunday, this is phase. Monday, cloudy with some sun. Mm, Plus not quite storm. Rain, 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 rain. Saturday, sun. Wet, yeah. Sunday, well, Saturday, cloudy sun. Sunday, less sun, cloudy. Ninjas. Just ordered one of those. Beach now. Scram. This looks really fancy. Look this. I mean, I don't know what meet me with a knife and fork, but it was five fifty. This was. That was it's the like Kinder. Yeah, it's the Kinder Bueno special. Wow. It was also five fifty. Mm, cool. So I got what vanilla. I can say white ice cream. Vanilla ice cream with like a white chocolate and regular sauce. Some Bueno bits like everywhere. Mm. I know it's just chocolate sauce, it's quite good. And the waffle show. That's a good to good, the Belgian waffle. Really, I better hot actually. Mm -hmm. Let's go have a bit of bueno. I never had bueno and ice cream before. Ooh. Mm. Not bad for the seaside treat. Not bad at all. Not oh, particularly safe as being a very noisy boy. A bit of a squawk. I guess it's fine. But... I'm now setting up for the, uh, the photo op for some promo materials that I'm going to be doing soon. For my painting stupid things. So I've got some shells and my boys. These guys have come over 100 miles just to be taking a photo by a beach. Seems good. Have a day at the beach without some fish and chips. That's pretty good. We're at the. Um, it's Chips by the parade. It's a pretty good place. It was chips on parade? The special fish chips, mushy peas, what well, all curry sauce, whatever, and coffee. Actually, really good for the price you pay. You get a good bit of fish you saw. Actually, really good value for money and good quality too. So I'm well pleased with that. Thanks, folks. Richard, when are you gonna paint this blooming statue, huh? I'll get you a fucking couple couple paint cans, you daft speck. This is actual work. And anyway, that's a jolly fisherman statue. He's about to fall into the water. Ooh. My comrade has decided to become a space invader. The big space raiders invade his thingy.
Damn, they're going straight in with the fucking, like, weak enemy spaceship. That's a cool mechanic. Is that a bomb? Hey, this ain't no, like, space marine that's invaded our own. That's more like it. Ah, uh, the bombs are helpful. You come. Sheesh. Man. That is hectic. Also appears there's a um Willy Wonka machine, but I don't really care to enjoy all this sort of stuff. But there is a machine for those two. Turns out. And it looks like there's also a Wizard of Oz machine using the Oz card, but again, I kind of don't care about it. I don't know what these other tokens are for. Interesting. But yeah, seems cool. And it looks like there's also a Wizard of Oz machine using the Oz card, but again, I don't know what these other tokens are for. Interesting. But yeah. Seems cool. So the following section you will see ahead of you with these images is all taken from a place called RAF 55. It's a restaurant in Skegness. It's on the road between sort of the main part of Skegness and the Sea Life Center, the Nature Land and the big sort of extreme sports ground. It's on that section of road there where the bus to Inglemolds goes through. Yeah. Um as you can see here, lovely plate of, you know, British food. We've got some gammon, we've got some a Yorkshire pudding, we've got some mash, we got some veg. So a lot of the food available here is possibly packaged standbys. I wouldn't be able to tell you for certain, but even so, you can kind of tell the Yorkshire pudding is probably something out of a packet. But even so it's fine. Mashed potato was very nice and creamy. Could be smashed, but still, you know, still good. Nice and creamy. Mixed veg, fine. Gammon. Gammon was definitely some of the, the best stuff here because it was a big... They had the big sort of carving things. Gave it a big carving place. Had a quite a significant portion, actually. Quite a big chunk there. That was very nice. Gravy was fine. I think it was probably made from a gravy mix, but perfectly fine. Um, Yeah. So, yes, it is a buffet-style place. I think it's like £18 per person at dinner. I think it's like 14 for lunch. So, a little bit on the upper end, potentially. But, what you get for that is you, is you have a large range of everything from pizzas, pasta, there was some Indian food, there was some... Uh, I think there was some Chinese stuff, obviously the British stuff as well and desserts, which you'll see in a second. A, quite a significant range, so if you're, you know, it's a great thing for a family gathering, or like a big meetup with a bunch of friends, because there is a lot of range, so if there's any arguments or any nattering, perfectly fine. Uh, I believe there were some condiments provided in sort of the sachets, but there weren't, wasn't any soy sauce, there was one thing that wasn't, it wasn't soy sauce specifically. But yes, the pizza was quite good, it came, they had a proper pizza oven there, um, I'm, again, I'm not sure if the pizzas were homemade or otherwise, but they were pretty good for what they were. The chips were fine, the chips were good. Again, basic, but they were good. The nugs, I think, the nuggies, the chicken nuggets were actually better than Mackey's and, and Burger King. Again, I don't know if they came from like a packet or whatever, but even so, I mean, like, s the same is true of, uh, McDonald's and Burger King. So if they're beating those in the flavor department, they must be doing something right. The pasta's fine, it was al dente. Again, it might have come from a packet. It might not have done in case something simple like pasta. The rice is okay. I can't say anything better than okay on the rice. The egg fried rice was... It left something to be desired. It wasn't disappointing. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't great either. It wasn't fantastic. I don't know what they did with the chicka tikka. The chicka tikka curry specifically I had was great. That was phenomenal even. Some of the best tikka curry I've ever had. The prawn toes and the spring rolls were a little bit overcooked. But I think... That might have just been being held hot for a while. It could just be a bad batch. 
The sweet and sour chicken was a little bit too soft. Again, that could have just been out too long. These things happen at buffets. Desserts are quite basic. As you can see here, we have a basic chocolate ice cream, which was just from a tub. Tiramisu, which is possibly from a box or whatever. Uh, brownie, and I believe that was a donut. The donuts might well be homemade because donuts are quite similar to make. There were cinnamon donuts. Again, they were everything here is quite basic, but it's quite good fare, basically, is the idea. <clears throat> you know, it's not like anything was of terrible quality. Everything was good and edible, which, you know, for a wide-ranging uh, restaurant that does, like, a whole bunch of different foods, is not easy to do. And I think for, like, 18, 19 quid at the seaside, for a decent buffet that's quite varied, that is definitely an all-you-can-eat, I think I had, like, three main courses, maybe even four, if I recall correct. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a lot. It was a, it was a lot. There was a lot there. Um, yeah. <laughs> like, I, I, this is also my first time trying tiramisu. This is my first time trying tiramisu. I thought it was going to have more coffee flavoring in it. I, that was, I, I thought, like, tiramisu was a coffee thing. But it was nice. You know, I, I enjoyed the tiramisu. I might have some more in the future. This is all the Chinese stuff. I only really managed to have sort of the sweet and sour, the, uh, the ribs and the rice, because there was a lot of other stuff to get through. The wings, the, uh, the wings were nice, though. The wings were good. Uh, I think the the ribs, I don't know where they got the ribs from. They felt a, there wasn't a huge amount of meat on the ribs. Or, again, could have been the one that I got a hold of exactly. But the one rib I had, not a huge amount of meat on the bone. Or cartilage, or whatever is on a rib. Here is a better look at the ice cream stuff. You can see the ice cream in the tubs here. There's also sauces, which I didn't actually ask for. Because I kind of didn't even register these until after I'd taken the photo. On the left-hand side, there are little moose tubs, which some, I think, uh, there's all, some of these are like moose tubs, and some of these are also ice cream. It seems like a bit of a weird redundancy, but here's, like, yeah, you got your basic flavors of ice cream, and I guess these are, like, sauces. I, if I'd have known, I would have chosen a sauce, probably, just for extra flair on my chalky ice cream. Uh, they also do do sundaes with these ice cream things, uh, because my sister ordered one. So, yeah. They do do Sundays if you wanted something a bit more fancy than just a dollop of ice cream, or a scoop, as it were. I appreciate this is not the best shot in the world. Uh, I may have been stupid, I may have been a bit hasty on taking this particular image, but that is the Indian section. And you can kind of see behind it the with its beef and gammon slabs they have ready for carving. This is where the, cur the curry I had was. I think it was also like Jalfrezi. And korma available, so if you wanted more spice or less spice, there was those options. Um, I didn't, don't think I saw onion bhajis though. That seems to be a bit of a faux pas on their front. I feel like they could have had onion bhajis or maybe some some mosas in their lineup. So that's a small nitpick. But I think overall, for the price that you pay per head, minus drinks, is it's fine. It's it's all right. I think it's probably about. Four and a bit stars, I think. I believe they could do with maybe expanding the range a little bit, tiny bit more if they're able to. Um, since you are paying quite a bit. Or maybe up the quality of food a little tiny bit. Maybe have some herbs or some, and stuff on the pizza. It's just some very small, basic, cheap improvements to things. Just to make them, just to put them a little bit higher up on the quality scale. Without expending a huge amount of effort because I appreciate that there's a lot here already. It's a little difficult, you know, it's a little difficult to do. Uh, big, big buffet. It's uh, not a huge amount of staff. But yes, that was RAF 55. Uh, let's move on to the next section, eh? So this is our last day in the caravan. I am going to miss this place immensely. But it's been a good, it's been a good run. It's been a good run in this caravan. It's been great. I'm not sure I'll get this one, but we've got the um, Wizard of Oz machine that we were looking at earlier. This one works, you've got like a thing so you can go backwards and forwards. We're aiming for this ticket here though. It's basically the group shop, I guess.
Oh, it's just throwing more tokens over. Ah, so it's based on how many plays you spend, I suppose. This one. That's how you get your bonus tokens. But I don't... It seems like it's bonus plays. It's a little weird. This isn't the most riveting of the machines, to be fair. I, I wouldn't recommend using this one. I think it's a bit boring. Right. And last one. Yep, no card this time on Takeshi's Castle. But I guess we'll get our big ticket. Might be a bit more deal. This is the same kind of concept as the other one. Right. But this one's right at the edge, so. I'll demonstrate my absolute skill at coin pusher games. Comes with years of experience. Years of grueling experience. And pain, probably. Annoying. Well, that was a bit of a shit. That's a lot of balls. Congratulations! You got Thank you for 30 bonus spin. Waiting for our train now. We're about an hour or so. About oh, 45 minutes. And uh, these birds are vibing. I wish I were a bird. I wish I were a bird. Look at that little guy. Yeah, the 8.15 is on the time. I can. There we are. It is on at times, is. My little friend. So that's the trip over. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little series here, or, well, video. This vlog of my week in Skeg Vegas. And I shall see you all in the next video. That probably won't be a travel video, but you know. Alright, thank you guys the next one. Say goodbye, Mr. Burb. Bye bye.